All right, today we're going to open up an integration frame to show you what the frames look like if they don't come with the glass. Just a quick reminder, you can buy it in two different versions. This is an overlay size box. You have to pay a lot more for shipping uh, because it comes with the glass. If you want it with the integration frame style, you just buy it like this and it comes in four pieces and you assemble it and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the box. Alright, looking at the insides of the box here, we have USB cable, power cable, we have the other end of the power cable. This is a 90 degree adapter to a straight adapter for the power supply. The power supply uh, has the normal you know, plug here, like this. This is a bunch of double-sided foam tape, really good, holds your uh, frame to your monitor. These are screws here to attach the frame pieces together, and extra FFC cables here to combine the circuit boards that are inside the frame. Um, to give you an idea, the frames have these uh, braces on them that you screw the adjoining pieces into. So you can see the holes there. CD disc with the driver. Just a quick thing showing the setup. The four sides are labeled uh, REY1, REX1, EMX1, EMY1. This is the only cord coming off of the frame. Uh, as you may remember with the overlay frame, it has two plugs. It has a USB, just like this, looks like a female USB of sorts on the side, and a power cable connection that you would plug this guy into. This setup only has the one cable coming off, so it makes it much easier to work with. And then you can see that the power is, uh, you plug it in here, so you can plug it in like that and then that's all it is but still only one cable going into the screen itself you'll notice that uh, some of these frames here have a piece of white uh, styrofoam and tape wrapped around it that's to protect the circuit uh, the uh, FOC cable that's inside because there's circuit board uh, in throughout these whole frames with the LEDs and the sensors and that kind of stuff so what you want to do is you want to just take off this uh, styrofoam and paper stuff. And what you'll see inside is this, uh, this is the FFC cable. Uh, if you've ever taken apart an LCD screen at all, you'll notice that's actually the same kind of cable. FFC is a flat, flexible cable. Um, so you need to mate these guys together, and like I was talking about the REY1, REX1, etc, etc, uh, they're all matched up. So, let's find, this is the REY1, so that goes there, this is the EMX1, so that goes here. And this is the REX. One, so that goes there, and the EMY one, so that goes there. Um, you'll notice that each of these have a, you know, brace and then screw holes. So all the way around, they have the same kind of thing. Cabling only needs to go around uh, three of the braces. So that's why on this one, the opposite one of the cable, you don't see a uh, cable in here. Okay, so I want to show you how to connect the cable to the other opposite side of the frame. Uh, you have to do this in three spots, and then you have to screw 
the brace together with the screws to each other. So it's, um, if you've ever put an FSC cable into a circuit board before, you're probably pretty familiar with this, but there is a uh, darker brown tab here on the uh, connection on the board, and it's literally like this, and you just take uh, either your fingernail or a screwdriver and just very carefully just lift it up like this a little bit. So you can just do that here, and that's up now. And blue tab goes down. So if you're looking down at the part you just lifted up, it goes down. Just put it in, slide it under that thing you just lifted up. Uh, it won't go in very far, but it should go in a little bit. And, uh, you know, it can be kind of difficult, so don't get frustrated if it takes a few tries. There we go. Flip slips in a little bit. Make sure it's aligned as 90 degrees as you can to the, you know, the cabling is as 90 degrees to the connector as you can. Then just push it back down, the thing you just slid up. The white cable gets uh, shoved inside the other part of the frame here. And then you take the included screws. In this case, just taking two, because you only need two per side. Take your screwdriver and You want to make sure the frames are as lined up as you can. You'll feel it. The screws, basically, if they're not going in, then they're definitely not aligned. So just move the bracing until it's aligned. And there we go. And you're done.